generally, I like to keep things simple. I really kind of like to stick with tradition. For me, flavor is first and foremost. It's one of those things where you can kind of, you know, close your eyes and it's like that thing, that memory that you have. I'm Matt Dancer. My name is Ann Redding. I'm uh, the chef, chef owner, owner of Uncle Boons. When I was born in Thailand and grew up there, every family member had their recipe or their little tidbit. Cooking to me has always just kind of been a part of who I am and what I did. When I first moved to New York and I was working in fashion at the time, I, I remember now looking back and sitting at my desk and all I would do was look up recipes. And it was just something that was always there. It took me a little bit to realize it. I met Matt at Per Se, it was 2004. I was working first course, and I think she was working Canapé Station at the time. I think my goal was to eventually have my own place, and, and I think it was for it to be kind of a French style, you know, restaurant. I like that, building flavors, and I, I like, like all the old kind of sauce work. When Matt and I finally started dating. We started talking about opening a restaurant together. And the first business that we did end up opening together was a small mom and pop grocery on Shelter Island. We were traveling to Thailand in the off season, talking about getting married and everything. I was meeting her family. Going there, spending time with my Uncle Boone, with my Uncle Nui, with all of my aunts. I fell in love with the culture, the cuisine, and we started really talking about getting serious and doing this. That's what opened my eyes to like, yeah, you're absolutely right. This is amazing. This is what we should be doing. We opened Uncle Boone's in 2013. I think our hope was um, when we opened just to be busy, just to have a, a comfortable neighborhood spot where people could come. I think we're looking at Thai food from just a little bit different lens. I'm half Thai, I was born in Thailand, but I'm also half American, so the food naturally kind of straddles both. Even though we might play with some technique and some plating, when you close your eyes and you eat the dish, I want it to taste just like a dish that you would have in Thailand. We got a Michelin star a couple of years into the restaurant being open, and it was a complete shock. I, I didn't think doing the style of food that we were doing would even be considered for a Michelin. You feel that pressure to continue to raise the bar, you know, to now how do we surprise people? I think that's kind of what keeps us going. Uncle Boone's sister opened in 2017, right down the street from Uncle Boone. We wanted to expand what we were offering and just do kind of a, a more casual take. We're able to do some of the less expensive dishes, dishes that people, I think, associate more commonly with Thai food. Same big, bold flavors, still Thai food with our little kind of influence on it. Having a restaurant that serves Thai food where you do make everything really makes me appreciate how much work goes into Thai food and how much love and how much you know, passion and soul, like you really do have to have to really do this food right. At this point, cooking Thai food just feels natural. It feels right. It makes sense that this is what I should have been doing all along. It's just, it's funny the path sometimes that you take before you kind of end up full circle at the beginning, kind of where you started. Mm -hmm.